Hey guys, welcome to Math Dailies number 26, day one. Um, if you look in box one, you will see something that's a little bit new for us. Um, it says that if four fifths equals four times one fifth, then four sixths equals, and it's got these blanks for you. Well, I drew a picture um, just to help us out. This is four fifths right here, four out of five. Um, and if we wanted to see how many one fifths that was, we could count there's one, two, three, four, because each of those is one fifth. So four one fifths equals four fifth, four fifths. <clears throat> but it's, um, you're basically just multiplying four times one and keeping your denominator. So let's look at this one now. If we have four sixths, one, two, three, four out of six, um, then how many one sixth do we have? Well, here's one, here's one, here's one, and here's one. So we're gonna multiply by one sixth, one, two, three, four. There's four of them. So four times one sixth equals four sixths. So it's basically just saying there are four of the fraction one sixth, um, but you again are just sub, just multiplying four times one is four, and then you keep your denominator, which is six. So kind of like when we're adding, we just do the top numbers. Um, for now, this is just this is four out of four. Um, it's a whole number. Anyway, so basically, if you just look at your pattern up here, you'll be able to get your pattern down here. And to me, it's more helpful to look at the pictures at this point. And then we'll talk a little more about exactly how to do that. So, um, in box two, um, we have a word problem. Josh eats four twelfths of a sandwich. <clears throat> Emma eats three twelfths of the same sandwich. How much more sandwich did John eat than Emma? So here's what John ate, four out of 12. It's like a big foot long sub, I guess. Um, and it's got a glare on it. So John ate four twelfths and Emma ate three twelfths. So I just put hers on the other end so that you could clearly see the four and the three. Um, but this, it's saying how much more did John eat than Emma? Well, we know how much more than lets us know we need to do what operation? Subtract, right? So we do four twelfths minus three twelfths, the bigger number, four twelfths, minus the smaller number, three twelfths. And we subtract. And we know because our denominator is the same, we're just gonna keep our denominator and we're just gonna work with the numbers on top, the numerators. So we say four minus three, and that gives us one. And you can also look at the picture and compare. If we took these three that were equal to Emma away, because she ate three, if we took those three away, we'd have one left over. And so you can use the picture as well. But it's just a simple subtraction. Four minus three equals one. And just keep your denominator on the bottom. Okay, the next one um, is list the factors of 90, and is this number prime or composite? So um, the first thing we know is that you can do it, multiply any number by one, and that number, I mean, you can get this number by multiplying one and that number. So one times 90, we know is 90. So those are two of our factors, one and 90. Well, because it ends with a zero, we know it, it is an even number, so it can be divided by two, um, and we can come over here and do 90 divided by two if we need to. Two times four gets you close to eight. I mean, close to nine. Two times four is eight. Nine minus eight is one. Bring down your zero. Two goes into 10 five times. Five times two is 10. Okay, so two times 45 is 10. 
Um, now, what about three? <clears throat> um, since you know that three times something equals nine, and then we just have a zero after it, there's a good chance you can divide it by three also. So let's do that. Three times what equals 90, or 90 divided by three. Well, three fits into nine three times. Three times three is nine. Subtract, you get zero, bring down your zero. Three fits into zero, zero times. Zero times three is zero. Subtract, and we have zero. So three times 30 is 90. Okay, um, then we could try four. Um, you could think about it. Um, well, four won't fit evenly into nine. Um, it'll fit two times. Four times two is eight. One, bring down your 10, and four will not fit evenly into 10. So that's not going to fit, uh, fit evenly. So that's not gonna work, four is not. What about five? We know that if a what numbers multiplied by five, the product will end with a five or a zero. So we know that five is gonna be a factor. And just to check and see what you have to multiply by, five fits into nine one time. One times five is five, nine minus five is four. Bring down your zero. Five will fit into 48 times. Five times eight is 40, subtract, and you get zero. So five and 18 are factors. Um, and then you can kind of think about six. If you had put six, uh, well, let's just work it out, I guess. Let's go ahead and do 90 divided by six. Um, Six will fit into nine one time. One times six is six. Nine minus six is three. Bring down your zero. And look at that. Six will fit into 30 equally five times. Five times six is 30. Subtract. So six fifteens. So we have six times 15. Um, now we know Seven times 12 is 84. And if we added seven more to that, we would get 91. So seven doesn't work. Um, eight doesn't work because eight times 11 is 88. And eight times 12 is 96. So that won't work. Um, well, what about nine? Will nine fit into 90? Well, yes, we know any number with a zero on the end, uh, we can multiply by 10. So we know that nine times 10 is 90. And so then we also know the opposite is true, 10 times nine. So now we're back to numbers that we've already used. Um, nine times 10, and then if we say 10 times something, well, we've already got that. We already got 10 as a factor. So um, we've gone through everything that could possibly be a factor. So it has a lot of factors. So we're gonna list them like this from least to greatest. One, two, three, five, six, nine, and 10, 15, I'm gonna have to drop down 18, 30, 45, and 90. So th all of these are factors of 90. And then we know because it has more than this, just the one, it is composite. Okay, so used up a lot of space for that, but um, you're just multiplying or dividing everything, each uh, digit by 90 to see if it fits evenly. And if it does, then you get your multiplication facts for your factors. Okay, the last one is comparing a fraction, right? Um, less than, greater than, or equal to. 